All right, we'll go ahead and get started. If you have questions for head coach Nikki Collin, please raise your hand in the chat. I'll call on you. And we will start with Edwin Powell. Go ahead, Edwin. Hey, Coach, I know you only have three games of film on this Indiana team, but what are some of the things this team does really well? Yeah, it's, it's going to start with pace. Um, Tiffany Mitchell and Kelsey Mitchell, both really good in transition. They can come off the bench with Victoria Vivians, who can make threes. And, and so they're going to really push tempo. Um, I think that's the number one thing. The other thing they're going to do, which re really isn't that inconsistent with what we've seen so far, is they're going to offensive rebound. Tierra McGowan's really big. Um, they can come from the perimeter when they go with Kennedy Burke. And then Candace Dupree's just been really solid, um, kind of a timeless wonder, uh, a lot like Tarasi that just still knows how to play, that's hard to speed up. And when she's making shots, you know, she gives them a shot in the arm. Haley Johnson, go ahead. Hi, Nikki. Obviously, you've only had one practice since the last game, but how are things going with getting Courtney and Glory up to speed? Yeah, we don't practice. I think that's the going to be the misnomer of the season. There will need be no practice in the bubble. Um, you know, with games, we're in the middle. We're in our third game of a 10 and 19 stretch. So practice will consist of film, walkthrough, and a few shots for those that, you know, didn't we didn't overtax. We obviously played Elizabeth, Benaja, um, and Mo a lot of minutes. So I wanted to keep them off their feet as much as I could. Um, so with Courtney and Glory, it's 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 all still kind of walkthrough stuff, trying to get them up to speed, not just on what Indiana does, but quite frankly, what we do and why we do it. And so that our playbook can open up a little bit. You know, unfortunately, um, you know, Courtney didn't make shots. She looked fine um, the other night, didn't make her jump shot, which I know she'll ultimately make, um, you know, but I never really got to play her with Kennedy uh, because she was kind of filling in with Kennedy and foul trouble a little bit on and off all night. And, uh, you know, we just, we, the, the playbook has to, has to shrink when those guys go in the game, especially when they're in the game together. Uh, but I know long-term that, that they're going to be a huge help. Feinberg, go ahead. Hey, Coach, you talk about how Indiana likes to get up and down the floor. You guys do also. Is this going to be first team to 100 wins today type game? Well, I hope we make enough shots to get to 100. Yeah, we want to play with pace. Um, you know, when you look at, you know, their weaknesses, their two biggest weaknesses are defensive transition. I think they're 11th in the league in defensive transition, and they're 12th in the league in ball screen defense. So, you know, we have to absolutely get them from one action to another. Obviously, the first game of the season, Washington sliced and diced them in simple drag screens and transition. Um, but, you know, even without a Chan, one another veteran today, we've got to get McGowan in as many ball screens as we can get her in. We've got to get her away from the basket where we can attack her off the bounce and then rebound behind her. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Danny Thompson, go ahead. I'm Coach Danny Thompson, the three-point conversion. Can you talk about the energy Courtney brought the, brought the team on Friday night? Because in watching it, it seemed like the girls just had to be an extra spark with her being on the court. I mean, I think Courtney just makes everything more fun, let's face it. I mean, that's just her personality. I mean, admittedly, like, a lot can go on during a game, and it just goes straight over my head because I'm so in tune to what's going on on the court. But I know even my staff said on the bench, you know, she never stops talking. She never stops encouraging. She never stops having a good time. And, you know, I know her legs were a little heavy after the game, but I think as we can get her kind of back into playing shape, you know, you're going to see that joy on the court as well. But I don't think there's any doubt this team knows that we've got someone that, that can make plays and that, that loves to play the game. And, and, you know, that joy comes through when she plays. All right, let's call for questions. All right, thanks, Coach.